have a big party where um, there's a ceremonial Mississippi mud pour where they put mud underneath the stages from all of the uh, crossroads where Robert Johnson sold his soul to the devil so he could play the blues. This is an entire demonic altar. Literally a demonic altar set up. Are you kidding me? And you're, you're cool with us recording and everything. Sure. They, 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 they allow sure. it. Okay. Cool. I'm cool with it. Okay, cool. <laughs> so guys, this is the actual club that she was talking about where 2,000 people could fit. Look, it looks like an, an abandoned church. So what they're trying to do is it's blasphemy against the church. This is the synagogue of Satan. They're literally, this is blasphemy towards the Lord. A juju guardian. These guardians aren't your typical security guards. Place them anywhere you need protection from negativity and evil, and they'll take care of the rest. Hello and welcome back to the Dojo of Gain. Today we have a company that you all know, Disney. And apparently there's some demonic stuff going on in Disney, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what's really going down in Disney now. Disney has been targeting children and trying to basically brainwash them into certain ideologies. So I'm not surprised about this at all. But before we get into the video, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. We are at Disney Springs right now. It's about noon on a Monday. We're gonna go out there and evangelize. I believe there's gonna be encounters. I believe we're gonna expose the agendas of witchcraft. I was praying earlier before we came in on the, in the parking lot of Disney Springs and the Lord took me up into a trance and showed me, he showed me how they're conditioning children. He, he showed me a vision of a young baby in a pool like, it was like a water. It was like a tub of water, like a tank of water. And it was it was a young kid. It was a, it was a baby actually. It was a, it was a newborn. There was an umbilical cord that was a attached to the baby in the tank and it was coming out of the water and there were scientists on the outside that were controlling the umbilical cord so the Lord showed me that, that there's cloning going on, literal cloning and also conditioning. They're trying to condition kids at a young age, at, as a baby, as a newborn, with their agenda. So we're going to just see what they have around here. I've already seen some stuff that looks kind of new agey, witchcraft in a way, and just see what happens, man. I'm pretty sure. Now, real quick, why would Disney target children? Well, because by targeting children, they are essentially rewriting the future because sooner or later children will be adults and they'll be the ones in charge of everything. Now, what is most important for a child is just to be a child, just to play, be innocent. These gender ideologies that they're putting in even preschool ages right now, trying to make children contemplate things that are not even appropriate for them to contemplate and they're not even capable of contemplating, making decisions that are based on fantasy and basically confusing the children, exposing the children to sexuality before an age where they should be contemplating it or even have any knowledge of it. And yeah, it's just terrible. And the people that support it, they are basically directly or indirectly promoting the P word. Pretty sure the Lord's gonna move. And earlier today, when I was praying before we even came and at the church for this, for coming here, I seen a whole witch and she had a wizard hat on with a with a wand and she and she was pointing it at me. And that's when the Lord gave me the, the revelation: go to Disney Springs, expose darkness, and pray for people. So that's why we're here. It was the vision I got earlier in the in the spirit, and then the one I just got in the parking lot. So the Lord is saying that He wants to expose the darkness so that His children, His babies, will know the truth. Parents, make sure that you are knowledgeable. The, the Bible says you'll be delivered through knowledge and that people will also die for lack of knowledge so if you want freedom in your life in different areas make sure you acquire the knowledge and have revelation and understanding behind it yes knowledge puffs up and love edifies but that's a that's not that's not what it means it doesn't mean don't get knowledge no it's saying that if you put knowledge above love then you're prideful make sure love is always the, in the forefront so in love i come here to expose darkness and let the lord move the holy ghost is going to move powerfully so let's get it disney springs this is the entrance there's nobody really out here. It's really hot. Again, it's on a Monday. Father's Day was yesterday. We were actually out here. It was packed. But as you can see, like these are like the bars and the places where people drink and there's nobody really out here. It's perfect for evangelism. That's the House of Blues, I believe. Look at this. So this is the outside of the House of Blues, as you guys can see. Look. Just on the outside, you can see. Look at, look at the demonic statues. Look at this. 
It just looks demonic. And it's the house of blues, the house of depression. Look at, look at this. What kind of, it just looks demonic. Look at that, alcohol at the top. They say that, that blues is, is a type of music. It's a depression, it's, a, it's, it's like a depressed type of music. And alcohol, you guys know, is, is spirits as well. So it's demonic spirits of depression, suicide, all these different things. So we're just exposing it. As you guys can see, that's even African voodoo over here, African symbolism. Look at this. It just looks demonic, man. Look inside. Look at this. Look at that. On a cross. Look at the type of blasphemy. Look at that. They put a they they put a they put an idol, a demon on a cross. Straight blasphemy of the Lord Jesus. Highway 61. Look at this. This is a woman leaving a man, packing her bags, leaving her, her husband. Look at the short dress. Look at the red bottoms. Sexual perversion, immorality. Look at the dog. It's a demon. She's following the dog, leaving her husband. Adultery. Look, on a crossroads. Look, they even put a red cross. Look at this. And look where it goes up to. Satan with a guitar in his hand. And look at that. Look, look what it says right there. Lucifer Express 666. You see, look. I can't make this up, bro. This is in Disney Springs where little kids walk in. This is the first thing you see. Look at look at the art, bro. I'm telling you, man, the devil's a liar. This is All right. So, as you can see, first thing they have is a promotion of sexual immorality. A wife leaving her husband for lust, being guided by a demonic-looking dog and going to Lucifer, which is basically letting lust take your soul and yeah, it has a lot to do with what Disney's been promoting lately with all of the things that they're trying to use to brainwash children as far as the gender ideology exposing them to homosexuality at an age where they're too young to comprehend it and no because I know this I've seen this comment so many times what about exposing children to heterosexuality isn't that the same it's not the same because Heterosexuality is proper human function. It's what the body's designed to do. The male body's designed for the female body. It's completely natural and it's the order of life. This is how humans recreate. This is common sense. And I'm not saying uh, if you're an adult, yeah, make your decisions, do what you want to do. But it's definitely not something that a child who's five, six, seven, eight years old should be contemplating. In the, this is the first spot. Look at this. Look at this. Bro, are you kidding me? We didn't even go 100 feet. Look at that. That's another demon holding a child. That's a demon holding a child. A man in a coffin. Witchcraft. And like I said earlier, look at that. Look at the blasphemy. Straight blasphemy, bro. And these are all totem poles. They used to use totem poles in the Old Testament. The pagans would use totem poles for idol worship. Look at this. Look at this. This, this angel of light. A fallen angel. But yeah, as you guys can see, the totem poles. When people, when people say, you know, you shouldn't have a Christmas tree, when they're in the book of Jeremiah, I believe, when it talks about ornaments on the tree, it was actually talking about a totem pole, this, literally. When the Lord says, do not put any ornaments, you see what I'm saying? Ornaments on a pole, they would actually put ornaments on a pole and worship it. It was, it was witchcraft. You know what? Let's go inside. Let's see what they got inside. How you doing? Cool. Is that, is that, a, is that a cross right there? Oh, that's a pulpit and a cross. Wow, look at that. Look at this. Mark 16, 15, in my name, they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take a look at, look at this. And look at, there's, there's a little little offering bucket where they put toothpicks. And, and, and she said, this, this is a pulpit, a literal pulpit. But look at the top. Look at, and it's, 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 a, it's a preacher, right? It's a preacher statue, right? And they think it's funny. Look, it's a preacher statue. And there's a snake on this. Look at this. There's a snake. Is there like a lot more? Is there, is there any more like Christian or like... Okay, real quick. If you guys are not familiar with the book of Genesis, the snake is what tempted Eve to eat the apple, which basically the snake is a representation of sin or going against God. It's a representation of... Yeah, the start of immorality in human history in accordance to the Bible. So go ahead and see that is specifically a demonic priest or an evil priest that they're trying to depict there. Like, 
like like uh, demonology stuff or stuff like that you guys have in here, like art? Um, so not that I'm aware of. It's all just of the Creole time period, all of the artists who done the artwork, all of their name plaques are up and they came in and did ceremonies hanging everything. Um, so you said ceremonies? Yeah, they came in and done, like, shut down the restaurant for everybody to come and hang the artwork, um, things like that, and did, like, a private dinner for the artists. And did um, a ceremony, you said? Yeah. What kind of ceremony is that? Um, I'm not sure. I wasn't here 25 years ago when the restaurant opened. Um, wow, so, so when they started the restaurant 25 years ago. All right, real quick, something that ties it in for your knowledge, basically, the apple was the knowledge of good and bad which was basically taking away human innocence it's a representation of human innocence and who has innocence in humanity is children children are innocent right children are pure children look for guidance and basically the snake and the children with demons is a representation of taking the innocence from children which is a hundred percent what disney's been trying to do I mean, if you don't see it, regardless of any type of beliefs that you have, just objectively, you can see that Disney's been trying to do this unless you live under a rock. I mean, you have to be able to develop your own rational, critical thinking skills apart from what the media tries to brainwash you to think. Your opinion shouldn't be based on other people's opinions. It should be based on your opinion. Nobody was thinking like this 10, 15 years ago. Basically, everybody who thinks like this has just been brainwashed by the media. It's not their own personal opinion. Otherwise, they would have thought like this 10, 15 years ago. Maybe there was like 1% of the population or 2% of the population that was thinking that children should be exposed to these things back then. But those people were sick people. And it doesn't matter if these people are becoming more common they'll continue to be sick people even if it's the majority of the population that believes this the majority of the population will be sick people unfortunately it's just it is what it is it's not going to change in accordance to what culture says culture doesn't change anything everything will stay the same you feel something to be true it doesn't change whether it's true or not oh so here they did a ceremony yeah they did all the hanging of artwork from like from new everything. orleans from New Orleans? Um, I'm not super sure. Creole, you said, right? Yes. So from French descent? Yes. Okay. That's crazy. So it probably was like some voodoo. <laughs> Possibly, but I'm not super sure. You're more than welcome to take a look around at any of the art and depict okay. it however you'd like to. Um, Do you recommend anything like we, like we, like any voodoo area like some, or something like that? Not really, um, but you're more than welcome to take a look around okay. and perceive it however you'd like to. Thank you. I appreciate it. She said perceive it however you'd like to perceive it. <laughs> Did you just hear that? The worker just said they did a ceremony 25 years ago in this shop, in this, this pisses me off. And this is where children come in. This is the first thing you see when you come to Disney Springs. It's Sakata. We take authority over this spot in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at this, House of Blues, oh my goodness. Look at the sign, look at this. Can I see this? Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll come around, we'll come around. Look at the stage for the House of Blues. The stage for the House of Blues, look at it. Bro, you can't make this up, bro. It's literally hell, it's literally hell. Flames, oh, look at this. Some more blasphemy, look at this. Look at this, some more blasphemy, look at that. You see, this is why I tell people all the time. When you go to a psychic shop or a witchcraft shop or anything, they'll try to use pictures like that to say that they believe in Jesus and that everything they're doing is a deeper revelation, a new revelation of the Bible that, that, that pastors and preachers don't know what they're doing and that they have this deeper and that's why voodoo's okay. You see, they even have, look at this. The Last Supper. Look at this, a whole demon. Look, a snake, a Nephilim, horns, tail. It's a whole demon. Look at this one. Another one. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. How you doing? Hey, a quick question. Are you, uh, we're just vlogging. Are you down to like do a quick interview? You, do you work here? Oh, yeah, I'm manager. Oh, you're the manager? Yeah. Oh, what are the chances? Hi, okay. Nice to meet you. My name is Rich. Hi. So, um, how long has this has the House of Blues been open? We've been here since 1997. Oh wow! So about 25 years. Yeah. And um, we were talking to the people at the front. So what happened? Uh, they said there was like a meeting or a ceremony that was done. 
Oh, anytime a House of Blues opens, yeah, we have a big party where um, there's a ceremonial Mississippi mud pour where they put mud underneath the stages for um, all of the, um, or where the crossroads where Robert Johnson allegedly sold his soul to play the blues. So, so wait, Ro Robert Johnson played, sold it like. Father of the blues, yeah. Sold his soul for the. Sold his soul to the devil so he could play the blues. That's the myth, that's the folklore. So, uh, Robert Johnson, that's where the mysterious number 27 comes from, too. Like, a lot of people die at 27 in the music world. He passed away at 27 years old. So you've got like Janis Joplin, Kurt Cobain. So it's kind of a mystery folklore of selling your soul to the devil to play the blues. Why is that number significant in music too? I never knew that. There's a corner outside uh, near our water tower and you'll see the number 27 painted on there. Can you, can you show me or is it too much? Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Really? What? No, well, Kurt Cobain. I wouldn't be surprised by that considering he's been known for wearing a dress. This is crazy. I didn't, I, this is like, this is a lot of information. Look at that. Is that the Virgin Mary up there? Yeah. Wow. A Virgin Mary with a with a cross or, or a sword in her. Okay. So everything you guys see is original folk art. Okay. So the building is covered in all original pieces. So all of this is done by typically southern folk artists and everybody that has contributed to the building is pretty well known. For really? Art. The wow. The imagination arch is really cool. You might like that. that yeah, is. show me, show me, show me. Anything that's like really trippy. Whoa! So when the artist built this, he uh, took people that were walking by and asked them to just put little trinkets as they went. So there's even a wedding ring somewhere in here. A girl's engagement broke off, so she passed him a wedding ring. And um, he was inspired by a dream he had. He was in a coma. So this was uh, people that like came to visit him. So you can see there's like, on the other side too, there's a lot of faces popping up. Mr. Imagination was visited by, um, he felt like they were ancient Egyptians in his vision is from what I remember. So it was just like a bunch of faces coming out. A bunch but, of like, like, we, like, like. Let's go back real quick, right here, I think. And ask them to just put little trinkets as it. they went. So there's even a wedding ring somewhere in here. A girl's engagement broke off, so she passed him a wedding ring. And um, he was inspired by a dream he had. He was in a coma. So this was uh, people that like came to visit him. So you can see there's like on the other side too, there's a lot of faces popping up. Mr. Imagination was visiting. All right, looks like at the bottom here, they have Jesus. So, I mean, this looks to me like a depiction of Jesus at the bottom of the totem pole. So as the, basically the least powerful on the totem pole that they have here. Visited by, um, he felt like they were ancient Egyptians in his vision is from what I remember. So it was just like a bunch of faces coming out. A bunch but, of fa like, like, we, like, like different looking faces. Yeah. Like, so he saw like, a, like an alligator up there, as you can see. Mm -hmm. At the top is like a is a kind of like an all seeing eye. And yeah, and check it, out the front. There's a big eye right in the front for sure. What? Yeah. And, and, then, and then the all seeing eye is at the top. So we have Jesus at the bottom, and the all seeing eye at the top, which the third eye represents entrance into the spirit world, which will give you access to speaking with demons, basically. And I know it sounds crazy it sounds out of this world sounds fake but anybody who's ever taken a huge dosage of mushrooms or lsd or peyote blah extra uh, you name it whatever blah 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 has most likely spoken to demons seen demons seen entities that's basically what the third eye represents is entrance into the spirit world and this, this is the cross, like, again, a cross. I see a lot of crosses. A lot of crosses, yeah. It's a, a lot snake. Of religious imagery, but then also we have a Creole culture, voodoo culture. Can we get the front really quick? Front. Come, come here, come here. Look at this. A whole bunch of. Wow. Oh, what? Bro, get the top too. Look at the beads. This is an entire demonic altar. Literally, a demonic altar set up. Are you kidding me? Wow. Wow, and, and you're one of the managers, right? Yeah, I'm so, in so, retail. So you have a lot of the his, 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 you know a lot of. The... I've been here eight years, but I've come to this place like 20, 25 probably since they opened when I was little. Wow, and, and you're, you're cool with us recording and everything. Yeah, they they they, they, they allow sure. it. Okay, cool. I'm cool with it. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's the corner right here where it's the 27. So oh. It's a little bit different. What <laughs> in hell, water? Jesus, repent. Repent. What does repent mean? 
pretty cool to uh, be forgiven for your sins, repent. So, so like, what are these? Like, are these, is this like a Christian area? I don't. I'm not too familiar with this artist, but I've always just really liked this corner. Bruh, you can't make this up, bro. This is the first thing that you see when you walk into Disney Springs. It's a whole demonic altar. I just preached on this last Saturday on demonic altars a few days ago. This is an entire demonic altar. They actually came here with an intention putting mud. Did you guys see that Mr. Impossible thing with all, like, she said a woman whose engagement broke off, she took the ring and put it in there. So that was a whole shrine. That was a whole, that was another altar. This is a bunch of demonic altars here with one major altar all power through the altar of sin and iniquity of Satan. Bro, you cannot make this up. Do you see this? Do you see how satanic this is? This is the first thing you see when you walk in. This is what I saw in the dream, bro. This is what I saw in this, in this, look. This is what I saw in the spirit, look. You see that black crow? You see that black crow? Bro, this is, this is the hat I saw that I told you guys earlier that I saw in the spirit. I saw this hat. Remember I told you, Kevin? I saw this hat in the spirit, a witch hat. When I was in prayer early this morning, when we got to the church at 9 a.m. or 8 a.m., sorry, at 8 a.m., we get into prayer from 8 to 9, I got taken into a trance, and God showed me that. I couldn't see the face of the person. It was like a shadow, but I saw the hat, and I saw a wand like this, and I heard the Lord say, go to Disney Springs. What are the chances we get here? This sign is right here, the same hat I saw. This is confirmation that this is, this is from the Lord Jesus Christ. He wanted us to come here and expose it. We just, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you, Lord, that you sent us here to expose it, Lord. We just pray that there be angels set up around here, Lord, that everyone that's not supposed to be here not be here, Lord, that you shatter demonic altars in the spirit, Father God. No more demonic portals be opened. No more demonic portals be opened around this spot in the name of Jesus Christ, that you would shut this place down in the spirit, Father. And in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let this turn into something Christian. Let this be transformed. Let this have no more power over sin, Lord, over people in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you, and if you come in agreement with me, I want you to comment down below. If you pray, I want you to pray with me. I know this video is going to probably be out for years, but I want you to pray with me and I want you to comment down below. I prayed in Jesus name. Amen. And yes, we don't have no fear because we have authority. We have the power of God backing us up. His presence went before us. He confirmed to me that this is where he wanted me to be. And he brought us to the first spot. What are the chances that I, the Lord says Disney Springs is a word of knowledge. And then I see that in the spirit. That is the Lord Jesus Christ himself confirming it. The Lord is good. Now we're going to continue our tour of Disney Springs. Let's see what else we can expose. I'm up next. I'm up next. My brothers and my sisters, if you don't know, I'm up next. My new church bro this is literally a satanic church this is the, this is the synagogue of satan they're literally this is blasphemy towards the lord they made a nightclub where worldly performers perform like lady gaga and different stuff like that they made this into a club they made this into a club bro i wish i can go inside i wonder what's inside of there bro that's crazy and this is the store i've been to disney springs before but i never paid attention to this i was literally led here by the spirit me and kevin were led here i guess this is the store is this the store this is crazy Those are the tarot cards, literally tarot cards, a sun catcher, the moon. This is, this is literally all tarot. All right. So I'm going to wrap it up here. If you want to watch the rest of the video, you can go ahead and check it out on his channel here. Now, am I surprised by anything here? No, I have been suspecting that Disney was a satanic company for a long time basically by the way that they've been targeting children and trying to steal their innocence from them brainwashing society they're one of the main culprits that brainwashes society they've brainwashed the United States and they're one of the main culprits that brings that disgusting culture to other countries and begins to corrupt children now what's most important if you are a parent is to protect your child's innocence if you do not agree with it protecting your child's innocence you have no business being a parent blank point period it's not a matter of different points of view it's literally wrong and promoting confusion and delusion to children promoting sexual morality to children promoting evil to children there's basically nothing worse that you could do than 
to corrupt children, than to put children in danger, than to put children in states of depression and confusion and delusion. And the gender ideology is delusion. Obviously, you cannot change anything about yourself that is predetermined by your biology. You are what you are, and either you accept that or you're delusional. And if you're an adult and you want to be delusional, all right, that's your problem, but you should not introduce delusion into children. You should be above introducing delusion into children. You should be adults enough to know that. And even, as you can see, they have these drag queen story hours going on. Now, what kind of a sick individual not only does he dress up as a woman to read to children, but he dresses up provocatively as a woman with huge fake breasts, small clothing, basically sexualizing himself to present himself to children. Any of these people that are out here doing this, they are essentially the P-word. 100,000%. Some of the adults that are taking their children here they're confused, they don't have the ability to think for themselves, they go off of other people's opinions, basing what they think is right and wrong off of what other people tell them instead of being rational thinkers and basically using human instincts because everybody has that ability. You know it's wrong, but you're ignoring it because somebody told you to. And the other majority of those parents are P-words. Okay, you guys know what the P-word is, I'm not trying to say it because I don't know if I'll get kicked off the algorithm but it's 100% it is what it is what needs to be done is what has been done for a while now it seems like people are starting to stand up and fight back but I think dry queen story hours need to be outlawed and obviously the law is not going to do that so people being this a demo de demo demo dang I don't I can't even say the word right now democratic country sorry People need to stand up and vote against it. People need to force it out. People need to put protecting children as a priority. Okay, If you are a good person, you will do what you can to protect children. If not, you are evil. You are one of the two. There's nothing in between. But if you want to see more videos like this, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.